During his courtesy visit to the Okwanyama Traditional Authority, the Minister of Urban and Rural Development, Erastus Utoni, informed the Traditional Authority that unity of purpose is the only solution to preserving cultural norms and values. Utoni said he is disheartened that most of the country's traditional authorities are now being used to advance personal agendas rather than safeguarding culture, which he says should be the core purpose to their existence. Our future should be founded on the norms that our forefathers established to be the cornerstones of our existence. We should ensure that. If we don't ensure that, we transfer our various norms and values, then we won't be forced to adopt new cultures because instead of promoting these cultures, we spend our time on infighting. Representing the Okwanyama Traditional Authority, Biata Haufiku informed Utoni of the various challenges they face, citing water scarcity and limited grazing areas for their increasing livestock. She explained that due to the vastness of the area of jurisdiction, the Okwanyama Traditional Authority has 11 councillors, of whom only six receive salaries from government. They also requested for a proportional allocation of resources to ensure traditional authorities with more people receive sustainable budgets to carry out their activities. We have a lot of needs in our region, such as water for livestock. We want government to drill earth dams that will harvest water for usage and for the distribution across the country. We cannot take up agricultural projects like other regions do to this. We need a sufficient budget according to the population density so that we grow. The traditional court is another thorn in the flesh of citizens who are forced to travel to Ohangwena for their hearings. Haufiku says the community wants such services decentralized and a state lawyer provided to represent the traditional authority when they have legal cases. Haufiku added that legal fees are too costly for the traditional authority, which is only allocated a minimal budget. In response, Minister Utoni promised to address some of their concerns.